Hello, welcome to the job department. I would like to take the time to say thank you uh, to having a look at the Google Slides of what Geography has to offer uh, for our curriculum. And hopefully um, we give you all the information that you need um, for your daughter and what she, what's expected of her from year seven to year 11. Our teachers firmly believe that the study of geography plays a fundamental role in developing well-informed global citizens. Therefore, our curriculum is designed to explore a diverse range of topics that cover both human and physical geography. The geography curriculum is thoroughly planned with the idea that working backwards from GCSE is important for a pupil's progression and development in the subject. Pupils gain key geographical knowledge and skills starting from year seven, and they continue to incorporate these within the content throughout key stage three and four. Geography offers a broad range of topics that allows the pupils to think in a more abstract way and then justify and predict what could happen in the future. Geography offers an inclusive education that explores a variety of geographical concepts that delve deep into issues regarding wealth, poverty, natural disasters, and politics. Pupils will have the chance to participate in extracurricular activities such as fieldwork and use the knowledge they gain from the classroom to apply this within a human or physical real life setting. Now, just with this slide, um, this is what we offer our Key Stage 3 and 4 geography curriculum. Um, we separate it by, by four separate sections. Uh, one section is physical. Um, and then we have the link with real world. Uh, we also look at the human aspect of geography, and we all look at we always look at the sustainability aspect of ge geography. Just to name a few topics that we cover between those five years that your daughter is at um, secondary school. So things like uh, development, globalization, uh, volcanoes, earthquakes, climate change, uh, deserts, tropical rainforests, um, and these topics are fundamental for them for when they get into key stage five um, and they're quite exciting and fun topics as well and we usually use case studies um, in our curriculum uh, that are present and that are useful for them um, in real life now just now we're going to um, uh, have a look at a video of one of our um, geog uh, geography prefects uh, she um, is going to explain why geography is such an important subject and how you can use it in real life and to acknowledge the things that have an impact in the world around us. Geography has cross curricular links to other subjects. It offers skills such as creating graphs and interpreting data. These skills help us further develop our knowledge in other subjects such as maths and science. Geography is not only a fun and well rounded subject, it is also open to opportunities such as trips which are both educational and enjoyable. Okay, now just we're going to uh, look at some uh, facts and figures um, that I think are useful for you to um, paint a picture to how geography is going for GCSE. Now, in 2020, geography students achieved on average over half a grade higher than their target grade. And in 2020, also, geography students achieved above national average with 79.37% achieving grades four to nine. Um, and in key, after keys, in key stage three, a lot of students find the um, – the topic's quite en engaging, and, and this sort of um, links to why so many students uh, took part in GCSE in 2020. We had 126 students take part, so it's obviously a popular subject. Um, but apart from that, pupils get to experience learning outside the classroom. The geography department has taken trips to Epping Forest to investigate river changes along Debden Brook, but we also take them out around Stratford. Uh, you, uh, collecting data, looking at regeneration, um, and to compare certain areas such as Hackney Wick and Stratford. Um, and just a quote down the bottom um, is from a previous year 11 student, and I'm just going to read this out now. Geography has developed my analysis and evaluative skills. I feel I have the skills to justify, evaluate, and analyze, and the confidence to continue the course in the year 12 and 13. I think this quote summarizes what we teach the girls um, in year seven to year 11, um, we give them a, a, like a, a foundation of skills first, and then we try to um, link this to what skills they could learn after year 11 going into key stage five. Um, so thank you for taking the time to um, have a look through the slides, and hopefully that paints a picture to what geography has to offer um, at Sarah Bernal.